Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 21st. Our readings are 2 Chronicles chapters 14 and 15, Ezekiel chapter 47, and John chapters 15 and 16. And our thought is, As I have loved you. There are so many points in chapters 15 and 16 of John's Gospel, as we read it this morning, that a whole book could be written and have been written, seeking to fully draw out the lessons Jesus is teaching. One of these is, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Chapter 15, verse 12. Talking about love is common in today's world. For example, one can sing, and there are a lot of these and similar songs, I first loved you when... In contrast, the love that the Bible speaks about is the special nature of a relationship that can exist between human beings. Jesus says he has demonstrated that by the love he has shown to his disciples. So, how did he demonstrate this? What did he do? He showed understanding and encouragement when their faith was frail. He washed their feet as an example of humility and of serving one another. At one stage, his disciples were excited at the thought of becoming important and asked him, Who is the greatest in the kingdom? He called a child and put him in the midst of them and said, Truly, I say unto you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom. Matthew 18 verses 1 to 3. At the end of today's reading, notice how Jesus responds to their declaration that we believe that you came from God by saying, Do you now believe? Behold, the hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each to your own home. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Chapter 16, verses 30 to 33. Peace. The nature of in me you may have peace is far beyond human experience. True love brings peace. Now notice as you read the letters some of the disciples wrote how they used this word may grace and peace be multiplied to you. 1 Peter 1 verse 2 And later he writes Long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up to salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. Tasted? That gives us more food for thoughts. Reading and meditation on John's Gospel is a rich source of spiritual nutrients and helps true believers to love each other as I have loved you. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.